Hello. Hello there. Sorry to bother you. Just after a flux harmonizer. Are they out on the shelves, or do you have them round back? I should have looked myself before asking, actually, shouldn't I? Hmm. I don't see any. A flux harmonizer? This is an electronics shop, isn't it? Surely you must have them. Although... Hmm. Some rather old stuff you've got on display here. What's this here? It... Oh... What were they called now? Uh, TV? Oh, telev yeah, television! Crikey, that's a bit specialist, isn't it? Who's going out of their way to buy a TV these days? Oh, still popular, are they? Well, good, good. I'm glad you're doing good business on the retro stuff. Though I hear TVs like this can play havoc with an ocular implant. Can't be many people left who can bear to look at something like that, surely. But still, as they say, you're selling them, so they must be popular. Maybe it's like how vinyl made a comeback multiple times. Huh? Me? No, I, I'm right as rain. Nothing wrong with me. I could just really do with a flux harmonizer, and I'm completely failing to see one on the shelves. Do you think you could pop out back and grab one for me? Or could I go and have a look myself? I do love a good rummage. What? You don't... None at all. Well, do you think you'll be getting them back in stock soon? I know this is only a small local shop, but I thought it'd be better to support a small business, and, well, I thought I'd be able to get a flux harmonizer just about anywhere. They're so ubiquitous. <laughs> no such... Uh, oh, you almost got me there. But I, I think I should know what a flux harmonizer is. I've been using them for eons. Much better than the pulse integration circuit. They last way longer. Of course, adapting the modular integration matrix to work with the flux harmonizer instead of the pulse integration circuit was a pain, but it only needed to be done once, and it was well worth it. This is the first time I've had to replace the harmonizer since I first installed it, when I would have gone through two or three pulse integrators in that time. So good, in fact, that I completely forgot to keep a stock of spares. <laughs> they last decades. Wait a minute. Uh, decades. Hmm. Um... Forgive me if this is a bit of a funny question, but what year is it? Right, yes. Right, no, I knew that, I knew that, of course. Yes, 2024. <laughs> what a year, hey. Um, sorry for going on about flux harmonizers for as long as I did. Completely made up, of course. Nonsense, I was just trying to make a joke. I see it didn't land and made a bit of an idiot of myself, so I'll be on my way. Uh, have a good one. <sighs> Hello, yes, sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. I'm in desperate need of a flux harmonizer. Could you grab one for me? I don't have time to look around and... Wait a second. This feels a bit... Do I know you? Oh, of course. Oh. Balls. It's you from a few weeks ago, isn't it? Right, yeah, yesterday. Not a few weeks ago, that's what I meant. Yesterday. Totally frazzled. <laughs> Been looking all over for a... Don't seem to be able to get the landing right. I don't suppose the flux harmonizer's been invented since I last came in, has it? I don't actually remember when that's supposed to happen. No, right, no, of course, just another silly joke. You're so right, it wasn't any funnier this time, was it? No, so I'll just be on my way. Sorry for bothering you a second time, I'm sure it won't happen again. Oh, I really hope it doesn't happen again. Something bloody strange going on if it does. Hi, sorry, no time to chat, I really urgently need... Oh, for fuck's sake. How's this possible? How am I back here? Doesn't make any sense. This doesn't match the coordinates I put in at all, spatial or temporal. Ugh, I suppose I should check. Let me guess, it's 2024, isn't it? Yep, still good old 2024. Ugh, sick of this year. Get me out of here. Look, you, is there 
anything you can do to help at all? Have you got any idea what's going on? Why am I asking? This makes no sense. What would you be able to do? I'm officially losing my mind. <laughs> I don't know why I asked. Ugh. If I had to hazard a guess, it'd be because you, the time, and this shop have been the only constants in what has otherwise been a very stressful few years. I mean, days. Very stressful couple of days. Why is nothing ever simple? It's only a bit of dimension jumping. Yes, the only constants. You, the time, the shop. Otherwise, it's been a barrage of nonsense, of incomprehensible, higgledy-piggledy rubbish that even I am incapable of understanding. I've spent most of my time uh, stuck in a, well, some kind of vortex. Kept just repelling me. No way to escape it. The only clear path, it seems, kept leading me back here to this piddling little shop. Uh, no offence. But it's not actually your shop, is it? No, as I thought. You just work here. Well, I'm buggered. I have no idea what to do. Maybe drop the flux harmonizer altogether, go back to pulse integration circuits again? But where do I even get those? Hmm. Don't suppose you have any pulse integration circuits? No. Worth a try, wasn't it? Maybe not. Well, I suppose back home for me. I'll see if I can't figure out some other way. Maybe some elusive third type of harmonizer, integrator adjacent thing that I could make myself? Oh god. This'll teach me to use off the shelf parts to build a fucking. I oh, wish I could do things differently. Oh, hmm, but maybe I could go back. To before it. Oh, when was I when it broke? Sometime in the 16th century? Worth a try, I reckon. I've only tried going forwards. Damn tunnel vision. Yeah, fuck it. It'll be worth the paradox. I'll just do that and grab a spare off myself. I've done paradoxia things in the past. Okay, good. That's the plan, then. Thank you for your help. You made an excellent rubber duck. Job's a good un. I'll be off. Uh, no, no, you didn't need to say anything. Just uh, talking to myself. Look, you'd best just... I don't know what I said just now while I was talking to myself and you were nosily listening in. But forget whatever you heard, okay? Much better to forget everything than to admit you're eavesdropping. Very impolite, you know. <laughs> no, of course not. Why would I say I was in the... What? The 16th century? Don't be silly. It's impossible. You must have misheard me. Considering how much eavesdropping you seem to do, you aren't very good at it. You might want to consider taking up another hobby. Oh, a good question, actually. I'm not sure if it still counts as eavesdropping if I was only talking to myself. Does it have to be a conversation with somebody else? Well, nonetheless, you were listening when you shouldn't have been. I was... Yes, okay, I was just talking out loud in the middle of your shop. <laughs> Fine. You win. You're too smart for your own good, you know. Yes, the 16th century. I was there a few years ago when the harmonizer popped. I don't know why I didn't think to try going backwards until now, but it's got to be worth a shot, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh, what's the point in pretending? Yes, time traveller, you got it. Bravo. Well, you got 50% of it. I do space, too. Time and space. And, yes, relative dimensions. That just kind of happens automatically, though. You don't have to think too much about it. It's mostly the time and the space that matters. Often just time, actually. Funny how often I end up back on this fucking planet. Why would I spend so much time on Earth when there are literally an infinite number of other planets I could spend time on? And things that aren't planets. Well, almost infinite, anyway. What was I saying? Right, yes. Time traveller, space traveller, whatever sounds good to you. Look, I need to get going. <laughs> yeah, okay. But you know why I keep being brought back here. Sure. How would you know that? You run an electronic shop in the 21st century. That's like one of the worst ones. Too late to go to space for the first time, too early to do anything else of value. Electric cars and plagiarizing artificial intelligence. Come on now. How would you have any idea? 
I mean, this is completely beyond you, isn't it? The time traveling and everything? Uh, think about it. What are you going to do when I leave here? Call the police and tell them everything I told you? The government, maybe? They'd laugh at you and put the phone down. No, I told you what I told you because it's safe. Because there's nothing you can do with the information and... Because for the most part, it was fair to assume that it would make no sense to you. So let's leave it at that, shall we? <sighs> Fine. What do you want to show me? Make it quick. I really need to try getting back to the past so I can get back to the future. Or, hell, maybe I'll give the present a go after all this. I could do with a break. In the back, is it? Very well. Show me the way. <clears throat> I don't know what you expect it. Oh. Oh, goodness. Yes, you know what? It was probably pretty sensible of you to show me this. In fact, it's silly that you didn't show me earlier. Shame on you. Now, what do we have here? Hmm. Huh. Yes. My, my, my. Look at this. <laughs> hmm. Some kind of rift? Let's see. Hmm. Huh. Aclara di the more than Sarah. Time sand, basically. Though it's not really sand. In my hand is a cluster of thousands of tiny little creatures who feed on disruptions in space-time. Mostly I keep them as pets. They're very cute under the microscope and, well, I cause plenty enough space-time disruptions myself to keep them well-fed. They do come in useful for confirming the nature of things like this rift here, though. If I just let this handful go, we should see... Uh, hmm. There we go. That's a space-time rift, all right. Not sure what else it could be. Uh, when did this show up? The first day I appeared, eh? Well, well. That's not really a surprise, is it? I'm sure these things must be related. I'm not sure how such a little rift could be giving me so much trouble. I've dealt with much worse before, but... Well, it's the best explanation I've got. Tell me... Why haven't you done something about this? Phoned someone, told the news, I don't know. A big glowing hole floating in mid-air seems like the sort of thing that most people wouldn't just ignore. Oh, okay. That's new. Interesting. In your dreams? And I was there? Bloody hell. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, I don't really have an explanation for that. I mean, I might in the future, but not right now. And I'm afraid to say I can't very well pop forward a few years and ask, as I normally would. Ah, my dusty little friends are coming back. Did you eat well, my friends? Anything to report? Oh, really? Oh, you didn't. Goodness me. My, my, my. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's not so bad. In fact, it's almost nice. Anything else? Right. Hmm. Hmm. Tricky. I see. Well, thank you, fellas. Back in the bag now. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, trickiness. What to do? could be highly disruptive to my... Ah, but then again, why not? Might be nice. I just... Oh, <laughs> sorry. Off of my own little world. Right, so... Hmm. Should I tell you? Part of me thinks that maybe this is best solved on my own, without just going along with it, but... No, this isn't making much sense, is it? You've only heard half a conversation. Unless you speak more than Sarahese. <laughs> no, of course not. Well, basically, um... Oh, it's going to sound really silly saying it out loud, like I'm just making it up. I promise you I'm not. This is real, I'm just repeating what I've been told. Yeah, okay, well, basically, um... The universe wants us to have met by now. Actually, apparently we should have met thousands of years ago the last time you were a human, but we missed our chance then, so... Yes. 
it's being quite pushy about making it happen this time. But why, I couldn't say. The board and Sarah didn't have any idea. Works like that sometimes. The what of the matter is made clear, but the why, well, that takes some time to figure out. I don't suppose... In that dream you had, was any of this mentioned? Dreams do often feel very... Uh... Fate-y. I'm sorry, I don't have the language for this. Traversing the realms of space and time is no problem, but the dream of humans... That's the real complicated shit. I don't touch that stuff. Way beyond me. Now, of course you don't remember. It's always when you want to remember a dream the most that it slips away the easiest, doesn't it? What a pain. Still, if the universe is really so intent on our meeting that it tore a rift in the back room of the shop you work at, it must be pretty serious. We should pay attention to it, lest we anger it somehow. Last thing you want is the literal universe angry with you. Trust me, I've been there. It's a bastard. Well, I think the best way we can figure out exactly what this is all supposed to mean and bear with me because this is going to sound dreadfully mundane in a situation that is otherwise, I'm sure, very exciting is to spend a little time together. Not sure what other choice we have. Ooh. Oh, I think it liked that. Here, you say something similar. Just, I don't know, agree with me. Say you'd like to spend some more time with me. <laughs> yes, there we go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, lovely stitch work on this one, universe. It's going to be like it was never there. If you can keep that darning kit out when you're done, one of my time socks has a hole in the toe. Oh, they're, they're just normal socks. I like to call them time socks to keep up the general air of mystique. Anyway, looks like that's done the trick. All sealed up. Lovely. In fact, now it's sealed... I bet we could skip the spending time together part altogether and just... Oh, come on, Uni. I was only joking. Obviously, we're going to spend time together now. Okay? Yes, good. Lighten up. Learn to take a joke. Honestly, the universe is so serious sometimes. Anyway, what do you reckon? Hmm. Well, what do we do? I suppose we've got two options. Either, one, I stay here for a bit in your shop, play shopkeeper. Sounds okay. I could do a little more rummaging in this excellent storeroom of yours. And, to be honest, that sounds pretty fun. Or, two, you could come with me. Hop around space-time for a bit, see the world. Hell, not just the world. See the... well, everything. What do you think? Boring? It sounds boring. Well, I suppose you'd rather stay here and sell televisions all day. Oh, oh, right, yeah. You're joking, yes. Of course. And I was just having a go at the universe for not taking a joke. Now look at me. Okay. Uh, sure, let's go travelling. I have to say, this is the first time I'll have someone come along with me. For a long, long time, at least. So long that I'm struggling to remember if it's ever happened before. Anyway, let's be off. Where's what? Oh, right here, on my wrist. What, were you expecting a car? Or perhaps, I don't know, some kind of public utility, a phone box maybe. That wouldn't make any sense though, they've all been turned into defibrillators or miniature libraries at this point, haven't they? 2024, right? Anyway, no, it's right here, on my wrist. Means that I've always got it with me. Very handy. Shall we be off? No need for you to say any goodbyes. When you've had enough of seeing everything there ever has been or ever will be, we can just come right back here, to your little shop. <sighs> Lovely. Looks like the universe even saw fit to fix the flux harmonizer up when it sealed the rift. I guess the breakage was its doing as well. Oh, uh, one downside of it being wrist-mounted as opposed to some kind of vehicle is that, well, uh, we will have to, uh... <clears throat> Hold hands. Yes. If you don't mind. It's either that or I give you a piggyback and I don't... <clears throat> I was joking! Oh, But fine. P. 
piggyback it is. Okay, I'm just going to set it to random. Oh, you know what? I think this is going to be so much fun. I've seen most everything there is to see now, but like this, I'll be able to see it all again through your eyes. Fantastic. Let's go. Hold on tight. 